Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This will take one minute. It, 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 I just want to put to bed one question. This isn't this isn't difficult. Um, on their own budget, their own budget, which is on their internet, water sales that total one point six two five million dollars. Water sales. That's the water they sell us. So divide that by our allocation of the district, 14,200, I know I kept saying 14,000, 14,200, that's the rate, $113.96. We're very close to it. Um, it's not hard, it's on their own budget. So I just wanna make that very clear. Number two, we haven't taken water from them. That's true. Why would we take someone's water that is more than double the other water sources, number one. Number two, I would like for them to refute the fact that on July 29, 2021, which is last July, the district elected to disregard its contractual obligation to the city, and despite its contractual obligation to treat the city equivalent to all others, being us, all other, that the district delivered water to opted to not adjust certain rates in clear violation of this contract and set a rate that is unreasonable. That is disputed at this moment. They raise our rate, they did not raise the rate proportion to the other users. It's a big problem, Chairman King. So I don't, you know, this mystery of we haven't taken water, there's a reason why we haven't taken water. Um, and then, you know, it's a chicken or the egg. I know he'd like to say we've never treated them fairly, and that's why there's been litigation and legislation. It, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. So I just wanted to clarify those two points. Mr. Chairman, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Anybody else? Mr. Chairman, I'll just make one point. 